you shoot high crotches and, and work on moves, but how do you work on the mental side? Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I think what we do often is we'll do 1,000 reps of, say, high crotches from the neck down, missing the point from the neck up. You should be doing 3,000 positive thoughts. You know, one of the things I try to mix the wrestling with the mental, and here's my phrase, I wrestletize it. So I basically encourage them in their wrestling movement with a phrase. And I think that's important. I think you have to have practical practices. So you should think a thought 500 times before practice, show it with your partner, Jim, and say, let's wrestle. Now, you don't say anything about what you've been thinking 500 times, but your goal is to get that out of you and into the physical realm. Man. Damn, no, I see, love I, it. Damn. No, but no, no, seriously, this stuff's great. Um, d Did you do this kind of stuff as an athlete or did you figure it out later? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm always... um searching because I realized that when I look back at my wrestling, we'll watch a lot of film and say, man, get that elbow control, get that leg back. But what we don't replay is how were you thinking before you went out there. So not only must you replay the physical skills, bigger than this whole university is replaying how you were thinking because that's really what affected you. You write a book, man. You got to, yeah, this no, is great. Yeah, book out, but yeah. So you don't have to get into super deep, but right, no. is, is 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 do you have a bit? Like, did you just give me two pages of a giant novel right there? Or, uh, yeah, two well, sentences? Well, this is things that I've done uh, with my wrestlers. I do almost ten minutes a day, almost every practice of what I call neck up training. I only do that because I don't try to copy any other coach. I'm just, hey, I got a lot of experience. And I'm saying the way you think, even in the match, will change the outcome from the outside line and what you're thinking back to the center. I mean, it's amazing. So I've interviewed a lot of champions, and a lot of them said it's what I was thinking. And I've we, I discovered some good things this summer, but I'm not going to share that interview with champions. But sure, it's sure. huge. Yeah. What, and I've already experienced it. What did that. you think before you wrestled? Hey. Or while well, you wrestled? Well, thinking now, now look, Kenny Monday's my nemesis. And one of the things that, one of my maxims is you don't invite negative thoughts. They just come. So if you know that, if you could be walking the tournament, like for my case, Kenny Monday pinned me in the Big 12s. I'm going to the national finals at the Hilton Coliseum, the sold out crowd, 15,000, whatever. And the thought comes to me, Kenny Monday pinned you last time. Like, who wants to think that? I'm going to the race platform. So, but I, 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 I have a little routine I would do it. In my mind, you would never know that I was doing this. So in about 100 feet from the podium, I was able to. Go to a room in my mind, open up the door in the room. In the room was a large burning fireplace and a table and a chair. And on the table was a notebook. And then next to the notebook was a pen. I'd sit down in the chair, flip the notebook over and write down. Can any money pin you last time? Rip it off, crumble it up, throw it into the fire. Pick up the pen again, write down. Nate, go hard. You win. So change the thought. So yeah, just a, it's a biblical principle. Like you know, I was gonna say, cast down any imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So you gotta get rid of the negative and replace it with the positive. Let that stay. This is at the top, your head, because it controls everything underneath. Wow, it's amazing, awesome, man. Well, I appreciate it. We're gonna we're gonna circle back and probably pick this up again at some point. But I want to just go to many secrets. But thanks for sharing. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been a joy. Glad to be here. It's gonna be a great tournament.